guys, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene and today my friends we are making Acapurias de Juca. Super easy, super delicious. The perfect appetizers you're going to want to have on your holiday table. It is fantastic nonetheless. Now I do have a couple of shortcuts that I will be talking about and that is my consalva. Now I bought the Juca cassava already pre-grated it is marvelous it just cuts the time in half but if you want you can certainly grate it yourself and I had made my picadillo already in advance and I will leave you the link to that video as well so now let's just walk over to these really basic ingredients so we can get this started because I'm hungry now let's begin all right guys, now let's begin. Right here I have four pounds of my thawed out frozen juca that I had already bought in advance, just this way. Right here is the meat that I told you. This is already seasoned and ready to go. And I will leave you the link to this. This right here is my homemade sofrito. I will leave you the link to this as well. And this is about a good three tablespoons. Right here, I have some adobo to taste. Now, this is the store bought. It is full of salt, so you have to eyeball how much is right for you. And over here, I have a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I have two teaspoons of oregano, one packet of sazon, and I have one teaspoon of ground coriander and this right here I have about three teaspoons of granulated garlic and that is all you're gonna need to get this started now let's begin all right guys so this is all ready to go and I can't wait to get this started now let's season this filling up so right now I'm just gonna be putting in in no particular order the granulated garlic love a lot of garlic on it now because this has no flavor we have to season this up when we put it in right now the adobo and I didn't put all of it I put some and I'm gonna put in the rest of my spices and my sofrito yum this is gonna be so good you can make this in advance you can season this up and have it already in your refrigerator it's really easy so let's just mix this through all right guys now let's begin while my oil is heating up let's start forming our acapurias I would say use a one-third cup measuring cup and you're just gonna get some it's okay if it goes a little over and then you're just going to form it in your hands now you see how it's forming I'm just spreading it a little bit and I'm cupping my hand a little bit just so that way I can have some room for the meat filling and with a spoon I'm gonna spoon in my meat filling now you can fill this up with just about anything and I will be showing you some fabulous meat fillings for this and with your thumb and the rest of your hands you're just gonna close it just bring everything all together all the sides up and I'm just going to close it and kind of like form a football if that makes any sense I'm just closing it and then we're just gonna spin it around in our hands. And that's pretty much it, really. Okay. Now this is ready to get dunked into our hot oil. All right guys, so I have my oil on a medium high with a good amount of oil. I don't want it so high up, but just enough to cover the bottom. And this is how we're going to do it. 
I'm gonna put it slowly in while using my spatula being careful not to break break it so I'm just gonna place it in and let that start going all right guys so right here I have my two acapurias frying up as you can see because i'm using a small pot i'm able to put enough oil to reach up half way of the acapuria fritters that's what you're going to want to do now my heat is up on uh, medium high you don't want it scorching hot because chances are your acapurias will fall apart on you you don't want that or they might overcooked on the outside and still be raw on the inside. You don't want that neither. So you make sure that you don't overcrowd your pan and you don't have your heat too high. And then that's it. All right, guys. Now these bad boys are done. I had actually allowed them to fry for a good four to five minutes on one side and four minutes on the other. You see how nice and golden brown they are? That's exactly what you're looking for. Now just line a plate with um now all you need to do is uh align now all you need to do is um align your plate with a lot of paper towels just so that way the excess oil can be drained off and you will have some delicious acapurias ready to serve to your guests you can make these small or big as you see here and we're gonna do a taste test so I'll see you right back all right guys now it's time to do a taste test now I have waited until it cools off completely and it's still warm to the touch but I can't wait to just grab on to it mm. 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 So good. So crunchy and tender in the inside and crunchy on the outside. So much flavor is going on right here, right now. Let me just take another bite. Give this a try, my friends. Definitely a showstopper. Wonderful appetite to have on hand. Your guests and your family and your friends are going to love this. You can make this for a potluck. You can make this any time and any way that you want. You want to make it big. You want to make it small. Perfect as an appetizer or just a, 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 a fritter just to enjoy for whenever. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you give this a try. This is a dynamite and it's going to be a showstopper in your next gathering. So take care my friends, make them. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video and follow me on my social media sites and I will see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.